right guys, today we're talking about those moments where you get really nervous around a girl. It could be during a first date, it could be during like a cold approach at a networking event, but you just have all these nerves coming up and you don't know what to say. So let me help you overcome that. So the first thing I wanna talk about in regards to this is where the nerves are coming from, like what is actually happening inside of you. Nerves is similar to anxiety, right? You know that the heart is beating really fast, you're potentially having a harder time breathing, you, you talk really fast, like there's just a lot going on within you. So the first thing to do when you're feeling this is to ground yourself. Bring yourself back into that present moment. Because the only times we really feel anxiety or nerves is when we're thinking in the future or, or the past. Normally in this case it's the future because you're hoping you know, she likes you, you wonder what she thinks of you, you wonder if you look weird, are you being a creep? Like you're thinking of the possible things that are happening but haven't happened yet, right? So it's important to remember to ground yourself first. Now I talk about grounding in another video and also in my other course, but grounding, all it is, is sticking to a behavior that allows you to snap yourself back very quickly in the moment. So for some people, it's doing an actual behavior to themselves. So for example, I always have a hair tie on me and I usually get really anxious or nervous in big crowds. I don't normally like big crowds. But when that happens, I just kind of snap this on my wrist and it immediately my attention goes to that feeling and then I snap myself back in the moment and I'm just grounded. I'm not thinking of the future. I'm not thinking what I'm nervous about anymore, right? So that's one method. Another is if you can, catch yourself in your own narrative and tell yourself, okay, it's happening. Calm, calm down, ground yourself, ground yourself. Like if you can say that to yourself internally and it'll help bring you back, that's awesome. But either way, just find a grounding practice that works for you that needs to just help you in that moment. Just breathe and be calm, all right? So that's the first thing, being calm. Because once you're calm, that's when you actually get to do what you want to do. Next, then it's about the root of a lot of nerves is because you are viewing her in a higher level. You are viewing her and putting her actually on a higher pedestal than you, or you're viewing yourself very low. So that's why these kind of nerves come up in front of a really pretty lady. Cause you just, all you see is that she's pretty. Oh my gosh, what if she's out of my league? I don't know if she'll like me. You know, you're putting yourself basically down. That's what happens. It's almost like when you go to and talk to a boss, right? You feel a little bit more intimidated. That's your boss. So there's much more nerves coming into a meeting with your boss versus a colleague. That's the exact same feeling. It's because you're putting this girl above you already before you can even make a decision that she is actually out of your league. Most of the times these nerves happen on a cold approach where you don't know her or on a first date where you don't know her quite yet. So it's important to build yourself up. Remind yourself that she's a human being that you don't know yet. And all you're trying to do is get to know her and see see if she's worth those nerves later on you know those nerves later on can come about because she's actually a really awesome person that's fine you know but if you just have those nerves because you just met her and she seems awesome so far but it's only been 15 minutes in the date just remember she's a human being just like you and all you're doing is trying to get to know her so you can either do two things here you rise rise yourself back up and remember Hey, I'm an awesome person. You know, I I hope she's an awesome person too. And then I will decide if I want to continue to date her. Give yourself that power, you know? Give yourself that power to you. And remembering how great you are. I'm not saying you're better than her or anything like that, but knowing your own value and your own worth and standing tall. That's what it basically is. It's either rising yourself back up or bringing herself down. When I say bringing her down, I don't mean in a negative way. Once again, I mean it in the remember she's a human kind of way and not thinking she's a goddess that is way too out of your league. That's when the nerves start to happen. So one of those techniques, whichever is better for you, you just have to balance each other. You have to, in your own mind, see her at the same level as you and that you're just two individuals, two humans with a story, trying to connect and see if there's anything romantic there. But remembering that you're not trying to beg her to get her interested and you're not trying to make sure she likes you because it's those expectations 
and pressure that makes you really kind of go off the edge and get really nervous and draw a blank. So just remember, you're human beings, same level, you're awesome. <laughs> and I hope you know you are. And if you don't, then it's time to work on confidence first. But remember that and remember that, hey, she's lucky to be here with me as I am lucky to be here with her. Let's get to know each other and let's see where it goes. That's it. Shift your mindset in that way and the nerves and anxiety should start to reduce. I hope those techniques help. Get out there, keep trying. It takes practice sometimes for it to be completely gone, but as long as you try and practice, then you should be good to go at a certain point. Thank you so much for watching.